Yeah, remember the first part of the pandemic where it was all Tiger King and online shopping? <laughs> remember it was like, I swear to God, if this fucks up Cinco de Mayo, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Welcome to the comedy show, my beautiful babies. My name is Jim, and I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much for swinging by. Next up, we're going to be checking out Stalvos Hakis, whose last name I'm sure I mispronounced. Do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button for the algorithm. Of course, we're going to talk about the set afterwards. Let's go do this. Thank you for coming out. Fuck with your boy. How do I look, huh? Huh? Stop. Stop. Come on. You know, you know, I had to come out here looking like a fucking side quest boss on GTA. <laughs> I'll have you motherfuckers selling pornography all across San Andreas. That's... <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to be out, man. I really am. It's nice to be out and about. This is cool being in a packed show again, you know? Sucked being indoors for like a whole year, you know? Although I have to admit, I had a pretty productive pandemic. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I lost 50 pounds during the pandemic. Nice. Huh? Thank you, yeah. That was, that was during the second half of the pandemic. During the first half, I gained 45 pounds. So <laughs> I kind of took the scenic route to losing five pounds. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I was fucked as soon as it happened. There was no chance. There was no chance I wasn't gonna get fat as hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it was a scary time, right? We're all, you know, we're cooped up. We're anxious. We don't know what's gonna happen. And I'm a very emotional eater, you know? Like, I use food as drugs. Uh, but I also use drugs as drugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you shouldn't be able to eat a whole pizza on cocaine, but... <laughs> I'm five for five, you know what I mean? I power through every time. <laughs> yeah, remember the first part of the pandemic where it was all Tiger King and online shopping? Remember, it was like, I swear to God, if this fucks up Cinco de Mayo, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> I got fat as hell during that part. And I was fucked up the whole time. I was just taking edibles like they were birth control, you know? <laughs> Like, an alarm would go off on my phone. I'd be like, whoa, time for 90 milligrams? <laughs> Jeez, I almost had a thought today. That. <laughs> that was a close one. I almost reflected today. <laughs> it didn't help that they made you feel like a hero for ordering takeout, by the way. <laughs> Remember that? Every commercial's like, support your local restaurants. We need you right now. It's like, oh my God, well. If called upon, I will serve. <laughs> Hello, yes, more low main, fast, hurry. <laughs> we have to combat the xenophobia the Chinese are up against right now. <laughs> more dumplings, I have to stop Asian hate. Yes. This is the kind of I activism I can get behind. I'm stopping my own heart. That's how it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to die for a year in a row. Because I felt like shit, I would check the symptoms. And I don't know if you realize this, but the symptoms are just being fat. That's it. That's what they describe, dude, right? Like every symptom's like, have you ever had shortness of breath, <laughs> aches and pains, or diarrhea? It's like... Every day since I'm nine years old? What do you mean? I had COVID in third grade? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Even loss of taste. Yeah, I burned my mouth on a Hot Pocket before. <laughs> everyone young, I'm 32. I feel like me, everyone me and under, we're fucked. It's, you know, millennials and under, we're fucked, right? We're the first generation that's going to do worse than our parents statistically. You know what I mean? Which sucks, but the worst part is, that our parents think it was because they were so smart. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> I can't stand that. I'm tired of hearing it from yeah. baby boomers, right? Like, their lives were so easy. You could just win a house at a carnival back then. <laughs> you know I mean? Just some guy like... Oh, oh nice. A three-bedroom. Awesome. <laughs> Honey, we're moving again. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever tried to get advice from them about a job? They're like, well, did you look him in the eye and shake his hand? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I did that. Uh, like, huh, well, that's how I became the vice president of Circuit City, so I'm, uh, I'm out of ideas. 
<laughs> they don't think we're children, dude. These millennials spending all their money on lollipops. It's like, okay, I need a CPAP machine, actually. But... <laughs> and these lollipops have weed in them, by the way. So a little more expensive than you might think. Uh, yeah, sucks. They ruined the world. Global warming, that's them, right? Not for anything good, either. I think it was mostly hairspray. Right? That's it. <laughs> Like, every Bon Jovi concert took a centimeter off the polar ice caps, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, oh, I, now I have to fucking wash my yogurt cups? Why? Why? You wanted a jerry curl, so I have to rinse out garbage now? How is that fair? <laughs> they ruined drunk driving. That was them, right? <laughs> Come on. You know how fun that would be right now? You know what I'm saying? Fucking get on one of those electric scooters, four truly steep, that would be sick. <laughs> but no, somebody couldn't handle their quaaludes, so. But the good news is shit is only gonna continue to get worse, so <laughs> we're gonna be able to do that to our kids, right? I can't wait to flex on my children, right? Just talking to my adult son, like, hey buddy, come on, you're 30 years old, you can't be splitting a tent with six people anymore, all right? <laughs> When I was your age, I only had one roommate, and I owned my Nintendo Switch. So you got, you got a lot of growing up to do, pal, okay? Go get a job selling your plasma just like everybody else. <laughs> oh, I need to be patient with you? You tell me about patience when you've jacked off to a dial-up internet connection, he okay? Hear him drinking. When you've accidentally busted to a forehead that was still loading, then we can talk about patience. <laughs> When you have printed out a picture of WWE superstar Trish Stratus <laughs> on an inkjet printer to jack off to later, then we can talk about patience. College. <laughs> now quiet down, the Boston Dynamics robot might hear us. Uh... <laughs> yeah. There's no, like, part of the bit where I'm like, but you know what? If we all stick together, we... No, I think we're fucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Unless somebody, you know, <laughs> shm assassinates Shmefri Shmezos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> 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 I didn't say it. Legally, I didn't say anything. You can't get me legally. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. Like, that guy gets to just go to the moon, and this guy will never see a doctor in his life. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> BS. Yeah. But, hey, whatever. Just get as sucked off as possible. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. Focus on yourself, you know? Have some goals. Improve yourself. Have a good time. I got goals. I got stuff I want to improve, right? I want to keep losing weight. You know, that's one of my goals. For a lot of reasons, though, you know? Uh, number one, I'm tired of being fetishized. You know, that's... <laughs> Not sexually, but platonically, you know? <laughs> These people look at me and they think, oh, there's a big fat party animal, right? But that's a lot of pressure, you guys. You know what my Hawaiian shirt budget is? It's crazy. <laughs> He's got a budget. You think I only want to do cannonballs? No. <laughs> I want to do other dives, you guys. <laughs> but everybody expects a certain thing from me. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> I had a real fat boy pet peeve happen to me the other day. I dropped a slice of pizza on the ground, and enough people saw me that I had to throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that was tough. <laughs> oh boy, just gonna take this <clears throat> to the trash. <laughs> of course, that's where I was going. <laughs> that's where I'd be going if you weren't here, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be eating this with 10% less enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. I had another moment happen where it was like, really showed me I need to get back in the gym a little bit, you know? Like I was taking the steps on the subway and I fell down the steps. Um, Ouch. And none of the black teens around me made fun of me. They were, they were all just <laughs> concerned for my well-being. <laughs> you know how much that stings? To be too fat for the scorn of black teens? <laughs> like, That's no, brilliant. Call me. Don't call me, sir. Take your phone out. Record me. 
<laughs> Make me feel alive. <laughs> they wouldn't do it, dude. They were just good Samaritans and broke my heart. Yeah, I don't know. It's not just weight loss, though. I got other shit I want to work on. I want to grow. I'm 32. I feel like I should grow up a little bit, you know? Like, I feel like this is the year no more floor pills, right? <laughs> no more finding loose pharmaceuticals on the ground and trying to get fucked up off what turns out to be heartburn medicine. Uh, <laughs> that's over for me. Uh, I am trying to stay sober, though. That's real. I'm trying to stay sober. It's been about four weeks, you know? Four weeks. So it's going all right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll, <laughs> after this show, I'll be back, if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, yeah, I just had to cool my jets for a sec. Um, it's hard, man. I, my problem with sobriety is I keep doing drugs, you know? Because uh, drugs rock, right? Here's how good drugs are. You know my favorite movie of all time is? It's this nature documentary about tropical fish that I watched on mushrooms at my friend's place. <laughs> <laughs> the colors were so vibrant and the story was so gripping. Halfway through, I'm like, dude, what is this? I gotta look this up. And he looks at me and goes, you were watching a screensaver right now. <laughs> so, okay, well, don't touch the mouse, please. <laughs> I'm rather invested in this right now. I'd like to see how this ends, thank you. I'm trying to uh, stay sober. I'm trying to watch less porn, trying to be off porn. Uh, one of my friends, he was off porn too. I was like, sick, dude, what's your secret? Let's compare notes. And he was like, oh, I've just been having sex with a lot of women. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, man, let's not being off porn, right? You can't be like, no more video games for me, no more Madden. I'm just on the Dallas Cowboys now. <laughs> I like this guy. No more Call of Duty. I bought a gun, so. <laughs> Take this for a spin. I keep trying to improve year by year, you know? It's like I, got I was real depressed a, package. a few I'm years sorry ago when I first moved to New York, things were tough, you know? And I was venting to a friend and they tried to cheer me up. They're like, dude, you shouldn't be depressed. If child you could see what your life is like, he'd be thrilled. And it's like, really, that's the metric we want to use? <laughs> that a child wants my life? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he does, but for the wrong reasons, right? He's like, hey, what's life like? Will there be ice cream? <laughs> There'll be ice cream every day. Uh, sometimes for breakfast. For breakfast, won't that taste weird when you brush your teeth? You're not. <laughs> You're not doing that that much anymore. Oh, really? Will there be sleepovers? Will I see my friends? You're going to live with four of your friends. <laughs> every day is a sleepover that you can't escape. Oh, that rules. I hope no girls come and ruin it. I would not worry about that one right now. <laughs> that last one is not going to be an issue, unfortunately. <laughs> no, that's an old joke. I fuck, of course, but uh, <laughs> things were tough. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, when I first moved to New York, I didn't have my own room. I had the corner of a large living room. And I'm glad I'm out of there, but there is something I miss about that. There's a certain level of camaraderie that comes with that kind of poverty, you know? It's true. Like, I miss clowning your boy when you heard him bust too fast. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there was five of us in a three-bedroom. Everybody knew the exact tempo everybody else fucked at in that apartment. There was nothing funnier than hearing that Ikea bed frame stop squeaking just a little too fast. You know? Letting out an audible laugh that cut through your paper-thin walls. Pretty soon, everybody's joining in. Ha, 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 It was nice. Yeah. I'm doing better now, though. You know, things are pretty good. Uh, I grew up pretty poor. I was poor until pretty recently. And I'm not poor anymore, but I'm not rich either. Uh, what I am is the richest a poor person could ever imagine becoming. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm get appetizers every time rich, you know? Like, it's not just for birthdays anymore. <laughs> I'm dipping sauce rich a lot. A lot of my money is tied up in ranch right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big ass TV, no health insurance, rich, right? I got Xbox <laughs> and PlayStation, but no Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's <laughs> <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I did do one smart thing. I did do one kind of like investment thing. I bought a house. That's something, right, guys? Thank you. 
It's, it's in the shitty neighborhood I grew up in. No, I grew up in Southeast Baltimore, Greek town. I grew up in uh, season two of The Wire, to tell you, basically. <laughs> Pretty easy to get a house there, I'm not gonna lie to you. To give you an idea, when we moved in, one of our neighbors warned us that the other neighbor was gay, so. Okay. You get a little idea what the property values are like over there, right? <laughs> and the way he did it was hilarious, too, because he was like, listen, good guy and everything, but watch out. It's like, for what? What am I watching out for? What is this man, some kind of gay raccoon? You know what I mean? Like, hey, buddy, you're going to want to lock your dicks up overnight, okay? Come on, chain them up, bring them indoors. This man's got a real nose for a penis, all right? He will get to a cock, I promise you that. Got me a couple times. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Yeah, we got the best white trash in Baltimore, dude. Extra strength white trash. They got their own little dialect, you know? If you were talking to a guy that I grew up around, here's how the conversation would go. It would be the dumbest thing you've ever heard. Sounding horrible, but with the most confidence, right? It's always some guy that's like, yeah, you know what I don't understand about traffic? Why did the guy at the front just go? <laughs> Just fucking go! That O oh, is brutal. It's the trademark. It's like a domestic abuse air raid siren. <laughs> yeah, well, I heard if you don't pay child support for both your kids, that's double jeopardy. They can't get you on that one. You gotta know your rights, brother. You gotta know your rights. One of my friends overheard a guy in a 7-Eleven go, Damn it, Mikey spent all my sweatpants money on Doritos. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what could it possibly mean? Is the money in sweatpants? Is it for sweatpants? If it's for sweatpants, why does your clothing cost as much as snacks? <laughs> <laughs> that's my community, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a funny neighborhood, you know? Uh, it's a bunch of those guys, and then a bunch of like uh, recent immigrants from South and Central America, and then a bunch of Greek people that are mad that immigrants are stealing their neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of old Greek guys that are like, uh, you know, they don't even, uh, they don't even uh, speak English. <laughs> <It's> like, okay. <laughs> okay, man, you don't speak English. Great. That's great. Issue? Great special. I thought it was going to be dirty, but it was really clean. I'm having a lot of technical issues right now, so I apologize for the slowdown in content. Um, not only that, I've also had the last four videos uh, completely blocked. I've done some videos um, for that were requ requested, uh, Big J Okerson, Kevin Hart, um, all just totally blocked. So I'm trying to figure that out. I also had one from today that I worked a long time on for Dave Chappelle's new SNL monologue. monologue. <laughs> Sorry. You can tell I'm frustrated, right? Um, that was blocked. So I'm actually worried about this one. I don't know if it's an account thing or if I'm just doing something wrong, but I'm going to have to do a lot of research. I appreciate you guys sticking with me and helping me figure this all out. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're still watching, I'd like you to hit that sub button.